My name is Andrew Ranga Sevagala Jedidaya, and I come from Buganda in Uganda. That is Uganda as my country. I have um, spoken or told tales since almost 10 years ago. This story is why uh, I was encouraged by a gentleman called Agani Oderu, who happens to be the director of this place. He came to Uganda and he showed me a wonderful clip of his work and I was inspired. I used to just listen to the stories, but now when he showed me what he does, I was inspired and he also encouraged me to start telling tales. In that, we started exchanging stories from Uganda, sending them to him, and in due course, I started also telling those stories in school. Being a teacher, I didn't know that I was also telling stories. I used to tell Bible stories, I used to tell history stories, but now at a professional level is when Mr. Agan Odelo really helped me to do that. So in Uganda, once in a while, it is not very big, we tell stories when that opportunity avails itself. At the universities, in schools, at the national theatre, and in festivals, just like this one at Sigane Motomoto. Yes. By the way, I also have um, a company, performing arts company, so I don't do this out of the blue. It's called House of Talent East Africa. We sing, we dance, we do drama, and also tell stories within what we do. Yes. Yeah, the story that I'm going to tell you is a very short story that is called Abalongo. It comes from Abalongo, which means the twins. Once upon a time, there lived a man who got married to a beautiful wife, to a beautiful woman. They stayed together for a very, very long time. And they did not have children. In due course, they went to different medicine men to look for a way to have children, but they could not have any until they were told to go to one medicine man who was known in that place, who was called Muganga. Now, Muganga lived very far away from where they were. And they had to go together to that medicine man. And indeed, when that moment came, they moved and moved and went to see the medicine man. When they reached there, they told the medicine man that they needed to have a child. They needed to have some children. They could not stand the abuses, the curses from the people that they were not productive. So Muganga told them to go and get Omururuza, which was deep in the forest, and mix it with the clay. And when they mix it with the clay, to pound it in a small pot and make the woman drink that, that concoction for three days. The woman was not bad. She did as Umuganga told him. She drank for three days. And after some time, the woman started developing the stomach becoming huge. And after some days, she gave birth to two children. They had never seen this happen in their life. A woman giving birth to two children at the same time, one a boy and one a girl, it had never happened. So they went to the gods and thanked them profusely because they had asked for only one and all of a sudden God gave them two children. They named one of the, the, the children Nakato and the other, the boy Babidye. Nakato is the name of the girl and Kato is the name of the boy. And after some time, again, the woman became pregnant. And they gave birth again to two, a set of two children, a boy and a girl. This time round, they named the girl Babidye and the boy Waswa. So they stayed in that family. And when the children grew, they started farming. They grew millet. 
And when they started growing millet, certain birds started coming from very far and started eating this millet. In the morning, they would come and look at the millet. And they would see that birds are eating the millet, and which meant that when the drought falls, they will not have food to eat. So, the father said, who was now Salongo, when you give birth to twins, in Buganda they call you Salongo, and the mother is called Nalongo. So, the father said, Nakato, can you go to the farm and see who is eating our millet? Nakato went, she observed and then she saw birds coming and they would eat the millet and then they ran away. She went back to the father and said, Dear Father, there are some birds which come every day and eat our millet. We need to do something. The father said, Oh, it is the birds. Okay, we are going to get banana leaves, put them together and make them as if they are human beings and plant them in the different places where our farm is. And indeed they put scarecrows there. When the birds came, they saw those scarecrows and they thought, oh, these men are there. They waited for them. The first that day they did not eat the millet. The second day they did not eat the millet. But one day the birds said, mm, these Human beings who do not leave this place, today they were there. The other day they were there. I think they are, they are not right. Let us send one of our birds to go and see if really they are human beings. Because they don't shake, they don't do anything, they are just standing still like this. So one of the birds came, tree, 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 and it dropped on one of the scarecrow. And the scarecrow did nothing. The birds laughed, tree, 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 tree. They are very happy because they knew that <laughs> this was fake. This was just a scarecrow. So they went and told the other birds, come, 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 come. Come and eat a minute. These things that you see in the garden are scarecrows. They are not doing anything to us. They cannot harm us. So the birds came. The following day, the family came and looked at the garden. And the birds had started eating their food again. Said, hey, what are we going to do? The birds are not afraid of these scarecrows anymore. Okay, now what we are going to do, everybody will have a turn to go to the millet farm and watch and chase away the birds. So the first turn was for Nakato. They sent Nakato. Nakato, she went there, put a mat, and she sat down. And the birds came. When they saw Nakato, they begged, Nakato, please leave us and we eat our millet. Please give us some millet. We need to eat. And indeed they came. And they start singing. Nakato started chasing them away. You birds go away. Go away. We don't need you. Go away. You are eating our, our, our millet. Then the birds started singing. Nakato leka twerire. Nakato leka twerire. Obulo wafe obobulamu. Nakato leka twerire. Nakato leka twerire. Obulo wafe obobulamu. Which simply means that Nakato leave us and we eat some of the millet so that also we can live. Don't chase us away. And Nakato liked the song so much. So she sat down and just started looking at the birds as they were singing, they were eating the millet. As they were singing, they were eating the millet. And Nakato just got in engrossed into the music. The father wondered, do you know what is happening? He said, no, Waswa, you go to the garden. Nakato is not coming back. Went to the garden, Waswa came to the garden and found Nakato really sing, just listening to the music and the birds were busy eating the millet. Saying, now Nakato, the father told you not to, to, to chase away the, the birds and just look at what you're doing. I said, but the, the birds were just singing, let us chase them away. Then also Waswa started chasing them away. She said, Sui, Sui, you birds go away, go away, don't eat our millet. Then the birds again started. Waswaleka twerire, waswaleka twerire, obulo wafe, obobulam, ishu, ishu, twerire, ishu, ishu, twerire, obulo wafe, obobulam. Even Waswa got interested when they mentioned his name. I said, oh, this bird even know my name. Also, he sat down and started enjoying, and the birds continued eating. 
Now the parents said, okay, these birds don't listen to the children. The mother of the children, Nalongo, you go to the garden and see what is happening. Nalongo came, big mother. Oh, my children, you are just sitting here and the birds are eating. I'm a minute. Said, mother, we have chased them away, but we don't know. Now that you have come, they have run away. Said, no, 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 I need to chase them away. You birds, go away, go away, go away. We don't need you in this place. Then the birds said, she's just a woman. We can also sing to her. He said, Na longo le ka tweri, na longo le ka tweri ro bulo bwa fe o bula. Ishu ishu tweri, ishu ishu tweri ro bulo bwa fe o bula. Eh, na longo is like, how did these birds get to know my name? How come they 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 they're singing my name? Maybe also let me you see. So the birds continued singing and eating the millet. Now the father was annoyed. He said, I've sent all my children and the wife and none of them is coming back. I need to go to that garden and find out what is happening. So he moved and came to the garden. He was surprised to see Nakato, Waswa, Babirye, Kato and the mother Nalong. All of them seated and the birds busy eating the millet for them just enjoying the music because some birds were there singing and others eating. When these ones finish eating, the other ones go up and start singing and these ones eat. The father was annoyed. He said, you, I sent you here to chase away the birds. What will you eat if you leave these birds to, to feed on this minute, all of it? He said, but father, we have chased them away and they, they run and then they come back. We don't know what we are going to do. He said, no, 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 no. You need to get me a catapult. I will hit one of them. He got a catapult and he shot at one. It missed. He did not catch the bird. Then the bird first ran. He said, ah, this is the man. Maybe we can also sing to him. Maybe he will also listen. So the birds organized themselves in the tree and started singing. Salongo le ka tweed, Salongo le ka tweed, oh, bulo, bafe, oh, Salongo le ka tweed, Salongo le ka tweed, oh, bulo, bafe, oh, and he chased them. Issue, issue, tweed, issue, issue, tweed, oh, bulo, bafe, oh, they sang and sang and the father was just busy chasing them away, chasing them away, beating them up. And these ones were just looking at him until the birds ran away because they could not stand the strength of the father who could not live with them eating his meals. And that is the story of Tweride and the Abalongo. Thank you very much.